Hi everybody, it's Dave Aquino with Basecamp Trading. So really looking at Apple closely today. Uh, Apple um, uncharacteristically uh, sent out a notice to their shareholders that they're going to fall short in Q1 uh, revenue because of a lot of um, slow sales of their iPhones in China and uh, some various other factors. But the the... The gist of the matter is that Apple is going to fall short and uh, this is uh, dropping quite strongly. You can see Apple is down almost uh, uh, at nine and a third percent. We've definitely been down close to 10 percent today. And this is a situation where Apple was trying to stage a rebound in the past week, but this drop was so strong and it's breaking below the low uh, right before uh, Christmas that um, even if Apple tried to stage a little bit of a bounce, it is a lodestone on the overall NASDAQ. You can see uh, Apple is down 9.43%. The S&P is down almost 2%. And the NASDAQ QQQ is almost down uh, two and uh, two thirds percent. Uh, at one point, we were down close to 3% in the NASDAQ. So the, the fact of the matter is, even if most of the other stocks in those indices wanted to rebound, uh, Apple is so much a part of those indices that it would continue to drag those NASDAQ and the S&P indices down with it. So be careful trying to be overly bullish. The markets are bearish and Apple is a major force in that. And you can't uh, really ignore the fact that Apple's revenue is going to fall short. It was stated by the company itself. So that is just negative all the way around. You can't spin it to something positive. And I think Apple will continue to move lower um, and uh, then again drag down the rest of the markets with it.